Hello and welcome to class. Uh, today we've got quite an introspective lesson planned. It's all on strengths and weaknesses. So we've been talking about uh, some of your own strengths and weaknesses and uh, how can you improve upon the weaknesses and uh, how can you better your strengths, uh, particularly with emphasis and uh, with regard to the work place. But before we get into that, let's take a moment out to introduce ourselves to each other. My name is Letitia and I'm from Johannesburg in South Africa. And uh, right now the time has just gone a minute past four here. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's lovely to be having this lesson with you to round off my work week. Now I'll give you an opportunity to introduce yourself to your classmates. Just tell everybody your name and the country you're joining us from. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, please. How has your day been so far? What time of day is it there? What is the weather like today in your country? Let's start with Elena. Welcome to class, Elena. Hello, my name is Elena. I'm from Russia. I'm 27 years old. I'm an engineer. Now I'm a little bit sit and stay at home. Thank you. Oh, sorry to hear about that, Elena. <laughs> Let's hope that this class goes uh, a long way towards entertaining you while you're stuck at home feeling ill. Right, let's say hello to Sahar. Sahar, nice to meet you. Where are you joining us from? All right, it's very nice to have you in class with us today. Yes, I think everybody's glad about the fact that it's a Friday afternoon. Sure, long week. All right, let's hear, uh, say hello to Star as well. Star, where are you joining us from? Uh, hello, I'm Star, and I'm from Taiwan, and I'm now I'm joining the class from Germany. Because All right, thanks for that, uh, Star. Are you a professional tennis player? All right. Well, good luck to you, Star. Sounds like you really enjoy uh, your tennis, your sports. Right, ladies and gents, let's start with uh, today's lesson on strengths and weaknesses. Let's start off the lesson by naming three of our strengths and three of our weaknesses as well. I know uh, it's the human condition that it's always easier to name the strengths and the people struggle to name their weaknesses. Perhaps it's the honesty that makes it so hard. But uh, nevertheless, give it a try. Let's hear what you think your strengths and weaknesses are. Yes, Sahar. Well, thanks for that, Sahar. Sahar actually did uh, very, very well in that exercise. Just a note on something to help you. So how we don't say I lose my temperature. Remember temperature relates to weather. When we talk about temperature, we're talking about the weather. What you meant to say, I think, is I lose my temper very fast. All right. Who else would like to tell us about the strengths and the weaknesses? Yes, star. All right, thanks for that uh, a star. Again, you needn't say, I lost willpower of something need to be patient to do. You can just say, I'm not a very patient person. Or you could say, I don't have a lot of patience. I think that's a common problem, uh, that people don't have a lot of patience. And I also don't have a lot myself. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Yes, Elena. Welcome. Uh, my strengths are I am rather confident, hard working. I also have aims and I try to reach them. My weaknesses are uh, I'm not uh, always patient and sometimes lazy and uh, I become and sometimes I become angry quickly uh, with my close people. Right, thanks for that Elena, that's great. All right ladies and gents, let's move on to the next question. What are the 
characteristics of a good employee and also what are the characteristics of a bla bad employee. So what do you think makes a good employee and what makes a bad employee? All right, so uh, those are some great ones. Thanks, ladies and gents. Anything else you could add to that? All right, let's also look at some um, examples of uh, qualities that make a bad employee. All right, let's hear from Star. Yes, that's excellent. I like those. Uncooperative, hard to get along with, not a team player, and arrogant. Arrogance is lovely. Thanks for that, Star. It's never nice to work with a person who thinks uh, basically a lot about themselves. Let's hear from Sahar. All right. That's excellent, uh, Sahar. Remember that we don't say unpatient. We say impatient. All right. Anything else, ladies and gents? All right. Now, do you agree with your classmates and why? So here are some of the qualities that people have mentioned today in class. I've jotted them down in the notepad. Do you agree with all of these qualities um, as either good or bad qualities and why? Maybe you agree with some but not others. Tell us why that is. Yes, aha. Uh -huh. That's great. Thanks, Aha. Uh -huh. Let's hear from Star. Right. Thanks for that, Star. Now, did you use any of these words to describe job-related strengths and weaknesses? What other words could you use? So there are the words in the blue block. Reliable, inexperienced, motivated, and inefficient. Right. So we use a couple of those. Could you add any other words to the list? What other words could you use in place of these blue words in the blue block? Yes, Saha. Those are great, thanks, Saha. So ambitious and honest, also very good qualities in an employee. All right, anything else? Yes, Elena. I would like to add such strength as educated. It is also very important. Yes, of course. Good education will take you far. All right, let's move on. What are the most important strengths for an employee? Which weaknesses should every employee try to avoid? So out of the list uh, that we've made here, the two lists of good and bad characteristics, and also um, you can have a look at the things in the blue block, what do you think is the most important strength for you personally? And also what do you think, uh, let's say, is the worst weakness? Which is the one you want to avoid above all else? Yes, Elena. I think that uh, the most important strength for an employee is to be a uh, hard working because you may you can be not so experienced or clever or educated but you must be uh, uh, hard working that will allow you to get experience and to be to get information from everything All right thanks for that Elena. Let's hear from Strong. All right, we're talking about the most important strengths. What do you think is the most important strength out of the list that we've made over here? All right, thanks, Star. Let's hear from Saha. All right, so those are your opinions as they stand, ladies and gents. All right, now let's uh, practice uh, looking at the strengths and weak weaknesses simultaneously. Let's look at the opposites of each strength as a weakness. What are the opposites of the following strengths? Be careful, they do not all follow the same pattern. Right, so let's start with the first one there in the left. Confidence, what do you think is the opposite of confidence? Yes, star. Of course, confident and insecure. Well done. 
How about efficient? Yes, aha. Uh -huh. Well done. What about experienced? Yes, star. Course inexperienced? Flexible? Yes, Elena. The opposite is inflexible. Well done. Inflexible? Friendly? Yes, aha. Uh -huh. Yes, unfriendly. Hard working, please, star. Well done. Motivated. Uh, motivated. All right, thanks for that. And of course, we have reliable and unreliable as the last two. Well done, ladies and gents. What are your top three strengths? What can you do to develop your strengths further? So, what are your top three strengths? And how will you make these strengths even stronger? How will you grow in these areas? Yes, aha. All right. Let's hear from Star. Sorry, Star, I see your microphone is moving, but uh, we can't hear what you said here on the other end. Could you repeat, please? All right, Star, I think we'll come back to you. Uh, try and sort the problem out if you can. Uh, we can't really hear you at all on this side. All right. Let's move on to our final task for today. You are discussing a potential job applicant with your colleagues. What strengths and weaknesses will you consider? All right. So student A gives student B three strengths that you look for in a new job applicant and explain why they are important. Student B gives student A three weaknesses that you prefer to avoid when hiring new employees and explain why. Here's an example. Since we are on a tight schedule, I really think we should hire someone who is reliable. I agree. We should avoid hiring somebody who is unreliable because it will cause us to miss our deadlines. All right. Could I have a show of hands, please? Please put your hand if up if you want to take part in this task. All right, so we have Elena and Saha. All right, ladies. Elena, please, will you be student A, giving the three strengths of the uh, job applicant? And uh, Saha, if you wouldn't mind being student B, please, giving the three weaknesses. You can begin when you are ready, ladies. Uh, since we are on a uh, tight schedule, I really think that we should hire someone who is motivated, hardworking, and reliable. I think these strengths are the most important because we have uh, a lot of work and we have a lot of goals that we must reach. And only these strengths in the person will make him do his job quickly and well. Right, thanks for that ladies. Very well done. You named some excellent uh, strengths and weaknesses as well. Alright Star, I'm sorry to do this to you. I need to know if you want to participate in this task. Sorry to single you out like this. But uh, there's no other way to ask you if you want to. If you don't want to, that's uh, perfectly fine as well. All right, uh, Star, you and I would, will go as a group. Would you like to be student A or student B? All right, so you'll be student B giving the weaknesses. OK. All right, Star, it's time for us to start looking into hiring new people to come and work here. I find in this environment, it's probably good to hire people that are sociable and that are cooperative, they're team players, and hardworking because they do need to give people English lessons the entire day and they need to be friendly with the people on the other end of the internet connection. What do you think? Okay, let's look into that. Let's see the people that we have um, on the list of employees. 
um, that uh, fits all the strengths that we have and have not too many weaknesses and then call them back for interviews. Do you agree? Uh, yeah. All right, let's... Okay. All right, could you agree? So let's do that. All right, ladies and gents, that's the end of today's lesson. Today we discussed strengths and weaknesses. We talked about opposite adjectives and we decided what characteristics would make a good employee. Before you go, here are two questions just to end off today's lesson. The first is what can you do to improve on your weaknesses? And then the second is do you think it's possible to avoid all of the weaknesses discussed in this lesson? Why or why not? So you may answer either or both of those questions and then we'll end off today's lesson. Yes, star. All right, thanks, Star. Is there anybody else that wants to share before we go? Yes, Elena. I would like to improve uh, such my weakness as lazy. I think that will uh, help me to be more hardworking, to be more patient uh, and efficient. Thank you. All right. Thanks for that, Elena. Right, with that, we come to the end of today's lesson, ladies and gents. I have just released the slides of the lesson, so you can go through them now in your own time. And, of course, if you have any questions, here's my email address in the chat pod. Please feel free to email me at any time. Before you leave today, please won't you fill out the off-the-class conversational survey. And that's just to let education first know what you thought about me as a teacher. Right, now it's time for me to say goodbye to you. Please enjoy the rest of your day. And until we meet again for class, keep well and goodbye for now.